Hey guys, Dustin Warnke here. Thanks so much for checking out my channel, subscribing, um, following, that kind of stuff. <laughs> today I have a new crossbow I just got in the mail today, and this is a Barnett Whitetail Pro, and this is a heck of a crossbow. Uh, it's got a smaller limb system than the other Barnett crossbows I've shot. It's very compact, but that's really nice when you kind of like a reverse limb. This is a regular, you know, standard limb crossbow, but um, when you're shooting the, um, it, you know, in, in a lot of tight blinds like I hunt in and that kind of stuff, you want something that doesn't have a really long, um, a long uh, size to it uh, as far as the limbs go. So I'm really excited about this thing. I've really enjoyed it from the moment I got it out of the package. The scope already comes pre-installed uh, and um, it's got the fire safe mechanism on it that automatically goes on safe when you cock it. It's just a great safe crossbow to shoot and it's fast. It's about 380 to 400 feet per second which is as fast as I really need any crossbow I shoot to be because a lot of my shots are, are short, you know, under 20 yards if you watch any of my other videos. So uh, I've shot crossbows by Barnett for a long time. I probably have been doing that since 2009 when they became legal in Texas. So that's been, heck, eight, nine years now. So that's pretty cool. I am shooting with a uh, Grim Reaper practice tip because I love Grim Reaper broadheads. I've got a Luminoc um, lighted arrow knock for my bolt. And this is a gold tip um, laser three, which I don't think they make these anymore, but I'm ready to order some more gold tip uh, bolts because they're fantastic. And uh, also going to be shooting on a bog bipod. I always talk in my writing and my video, if you follow any of my work, that I love to shoot with a compact bipod or monopod so it doesn't get in the way and you have a safe shooting rest and a solid, steady shooting rest. And that's so very important when you're making uh, making shots, whether you're in your backyard like I am today, I'm on a larger range, or you're out in the um, in the great beyond in a tree stand, or in a, uh, a seated position like I am at right now, or standing, you want a, a standing uh, shooting sticks of some kind to set your crossbow on. And a lot of guys just shoot off of their knee. Um, I, I've just noticed over the years, and this is just me personally, that I get better steady shots off of shooting something like a monopod or a crossbow, um, or a, a monopod or a uh, bipod or even a tripod but tripods just kind of get in the way in my opinion <laughs> now the interesting thing about this crossbow is that it can get out to about 400 feet per second it's rated at about 380 feet per second which is plenty fast for anything i'm going to be shooting in the in the archery world um but the thing that i've loved about barnett is that they've consistently come out with Faster crossbows, more accurate crossbows than when I first started shooting my Wildcat C5, and that was a fine crossbow in and of itself. Now they have the Wildcat C6 and uh, some other entry-level crossbows, but this is more of an advanced crossbow. I really like its short limb system. I like that the crossbow already comes with the scope mounted, so you're ready to go. All you have to do is install the um, limbs and the whole limb assembly to the riser. and. Um, this is just a really cool, overall awesome crossbow. I just, I can't wait to get it out in the woods and um, have some fun with it. So I'm having fun out here on my little archery range. So uh, the rope cocking device is a lot shorter in rope length than the other one is. That means you basically get down and, and get down to business when it comes to uh, cocking your crossbow. Basically having a shorter throw on the rope is kind of cool. Uh, like I said before, the scope comes already pre-installed. All you have to do is install the limb system, which is very short and compact. Um, the other thing with that is that the scope being already lined up and ready to go for you is pretty much close to being on. You have to obviously, even if it's been bore sighted or you bore sighted yourself, you need to shoot it before you go hunting um, or go out to the range. You need to shoot it at your, uh, at your house or wherever you can you know, legally do it, um, like I can here, and basically have a... Um, uh, an idea of where it's hitting at what range and what yardage and everything like that. So here's the other thing. Uh, lighted reticle that I like about the scope. Scope has all kinds of different um, ranges to it. It's kind of got a range finding reticle and it's got a little button that you press to turn it on red or turn it on green. That's a new technology that I've not been aware of in these uh, in these crossbow scopes. It's a lot easier to use than having to, to turn a knob and figure out what intensity and light everything like that. You just push a button, it's really easy. So. They also make the Whitetail Hunter series uh, in a smaller version. This is kind of a full-size version for a guy like me. It's got a longer buttstock to it and everything like that. And they do that so fathers and sons can hunt together, which I think is a fantastic idea. I've got the Raptor Reverse that I'm going to let my son hunt with here once he gets a little bit better with the crossbow. And um, really enjoy that idea because uh, it's great for fathers and sons to hunt together and have their own crossbows. And the Whitetail Hunter has a smaller frame to it for a, for a youth. 
uh, for a young shooter and uh, the Whitetail Hunter Pro has the longer buttstock and everything else to it. So I really like that as well. Getting ready to load up our bolt uh, and our crossbow. Odd vein goes down and we're going to slide that in to our track for our arrow. Make sure we're even on both sides and um, we'll let her rip. Let's see what goes. Let's see what happens. I've been really excited siding this in today. It's been very easy to side in. I could not find my uh, bore cider that I use for crossbows, which is basically a 223 um, bullet uh, bore cider that has a thread on the end of it that you screw into a crossbow, um, you know, bolt or, a, or really an arrow of any kind. And those are pretty handy to have around, but I could not find mine this morning or last night. So I'm using, uh, I just basically use my regular bore cider and stuck it down the, the rail and um, got kind of an idea of where the scope needed to be. And the scope was pretty much dead on. Uh, close to it at least so I didn't have any really issue sighting this in it only took about five shots and I got it done So let's go send one down range and see how we do Absolutely love that trigger that's about a three pound trigger and um, It just it's it's just a great compact package. I mean this is kind of like I said earlier the advance version of the crossbow um, it's a little more expensive than your entry-level crossbows but I, I've been shooting Barnett's like I say for a long time and I've really liked their quality their price points really good and uh, overall build and, and function and fit and everything are just great so let's go down range and check out our target I'm really really excited about getting this crossbow in here I've wanted to have this for a while ever since I was at SHOT Show and found out about it that it was coming out this year the Whitetail Hunter Pro by Barnett find it at your local archery retailer um, Academy in our case in Texas carries Barnett crossbows and let's see how we did here let's turn our camera around let's see here there's my pig target that I have here it's a I don't know what what brand of target that is but I bought that used from a uh, from a uh, um, archery range one day and then I also have my Reinhardt target and there's our arrow folks zoom in here a little bit and you can't really see the lighted arrow or not, but I love using Luminox because they uh, they really get the job done. And you can see there I'm right in the bullseye. So that's really cool. Uh, really ideally a great uh, crossbow all the way around. Barnett uh, makes a really good one. And the Whitetail Hunter Pro is definitely one that I would recommend. It's got my Texas tested uh, seal of approval on it. And uh, had a lot of fun out here in my little backyard archery range shooting. And... Um, I'm really having fun in the outdoors. So thanks so much for watching, reading, and listening. Also, if you've not done so, please check out our podcast. They're available here on YouTube. On, uh, I've got a little playlist just for the Best of the Outdoors podcast. Or you can subscribe to them on iTunes or Stitcher Radio and get them on your mobile device. So thanks so much for watching, reading, and listening. Have an awesome day in the outdoors. We'll see you next time.